Hello fellow history lovers and welcome to History Tube where we'll talk about how history has affected today. Today we've got a guest speaker, 28th President of the United States, Woodrow Wilson, and we've brought him here so that way we can talk about the ways he wanted to bring peace to the world after World War I. So today, the six peace efforts that we'll be discussing will be 14 points, the League of Nations, Article 10, Treaty of Versailles, the Dawes Plan, and the Big Four. All of these were attempted or were used in order to keep the peace around the world after World War I. So let's start with 14 points. What did the 14 points do, or what would it have done if they were all implemented? The 14 points was a set of ideas that I made to ensure peace across the world so that way another great war would not occur. The first five were just broad ideas. So the first was that there would be no secret treaties between nations. The second, all nations would be guaranteed freedom in the seas. There would be equal trading conditions for everyone. All nations could work together to achieve an arms reduction and colonial policies would consider needs of colonists and imperial nations. My 14th point in the 14 points was that we should institute a League of Nations in order to guarantee political independence and territorial integrity to big and small nations. This would help nations solve disputes before turning into a global issue, so that way another great war would not occur again. This was my most important point to me, and I really wanted everyone to at least agree with an international League of Nations. Uh, most political leaders opposed my 14 points, but in the end, while I sacrificed 13 points in return for a promise of League of Nations, it still was agreed upon that we would have at least one League of Nations. And we'll do the Treaty of Versailles next. What did that do to Germany, and how much more did people agree with the Treaty of Versailles than your 14 points? So the Treaty of Versailles mainly called for Germany to lose all its colonies, harsh punishments such as war reparations, and a huge amount of war reparations, and it called for their demilitarization. The reason that most Allied countries agreed with the Treaty of Versailles was because they had suffered more years of bloodshed than America had, and they wanted punishment much more than just peace. And they wanted Germany to pay back for essentially what they did to ravage Europe with the war. It meant that Germany had to pay $33 billion in war reparations to France and Great Britain, you know, etc., and even though they didn't agree with my 14 points, I still returned home with the hopes that the Treaty of Versailles would be ratified and the League of Nations would be created. And next, who are the big four and what did they do in order to negotiate how to keep the peace? So the big four was a group of prime ministers, premiers, and me. So the prime minister was David Lloyd George for Britain. There is an Italian premier, Vittorio Orlando, the French premier, Georges Clemenceau, and obviously me. So we worked out the details of a peace agreement together, and that was where my 14 points were torn down, essentially. However, they did agree on my League of Nations policy, so that was also instituted after the Treaty of Versailles was signed. And next, the Dawes Plan. What did the Dawes Plan do for Germany in order to help them repay their war debts? The Dawes Plan essentially called for investors from America to loan $2.5 billion to Germany, which would then be paid to France and Great Britain. And then those nations would use the German payments in order to settle their debts with America. So essentially, America had made a plan to repay itself with its own money. This helped the Germans get some economic stability, but they were still in a terrible recession and they still had to continue repaying debts and a new plan had to be instituted a little bit later. And next, what was the League of Nations? What did that do in order to try and keep the peace between nations? So the League of Nations was something that was supposed to be instituted in order to keep nations closer together 
instead of keeping things separate and keeping things constantly under stress. However, when I came back to America in order to sway them into us joining the League of Nations, it was shot down for the most part because the United States was a serious world power because of our isolationist ideals. The League of Nations called us to join a war in case another member of the League was attacked. So the the Americans who heard my plan were not willing to join a, another foreign power's war. And they would rather focus on the United States and how it evolved instead of joining Europe's problems again. In the end, we didn't end up joining the League of Nations, which ended up making it much weaker than it was supposed to be. And finally, what was Article 10? What did that do for the League of Nations? Uh, the thing with Article 10 was that it was made to require a member of the League of Nations to defend another member if it was attacked. This was shot down especially in America because it went against the constitutional right of Congress to declare war. Instead, it made you obligated to declare war on a country attacking a League of Nations member, and many Americans felt this was a rights violation since they couldn't decide on whether or not they wanted to go to war. I really wanted this to get signed into the treaty and I even went on an 8,000 mile tour and made 34 speeches in three weeks. But I suffered a stroke which left me partially paralyzed and when the treaty came up for a vote, the Senate rejected both amendments and my treaty. This was the main reason that America did not join the League of Nations and since we did not join, it greatly weakened the organization and it made it so that way the League would not have as much power and prestige since America was such a big world power. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, President Woodrow Wilson, for all of your insight onto all of these plans and what you did in order to attempt to create peace between all the European nations after a world war.